Schultz. Then we have Mark Caruso, Brett Billing, Matthew Riley, Shane Wright and Damien Hutchings in the first race for the 1996 Lucendale South Australian State Titles and they're away. Great start for Michael Wise off two into the first corner. Oh, the young little Aaron Grieg has got tied up on the back of Michael Wise. We've lost Mark Caruso and we've also lost young Damien Hutchings. We have a cross flag from the starter so there will be a restart. So we'll um, have a restart on this first race for the J Juniors. Now he's got it together. The other little fellas have showed him. And we're looking for a start and we have one now. A good start from Alexander Schultz off his pole. Uh, he's kept the lead as they go through the centre S for the first time. Michael Wise, Mark Caruso, Brett Billing is next. Followed through then we have Matthew Riley and uh, then behind Matthew we have Damien Hutchings with Shane Wright and Aaron Grieger. Down the back straight for the first time. Mark Caruso has got a good pass on the inside there. Into the corner they come. It's Aaron Grieger showing the way. Mark Caruso, Michael Wise, Brett Billing follow through next to me. Damon Hutchins is next with Shane Wright and Aaron Grieger. Through the hairpin they go. Alexander Schultz doing a great job. Alexander from the Angus Go Kart Club. Alexander Schultz followed through by Mark Caruso. Next we have Michael Wise. Followed next in it's young Brett Billing. Down the back they come. Open up a little bit of a buffer the first two. Alexander Schultz and Mark Caruso. Followed through by Michael Wise. Brett Billing is next. Then we have Matthew Riley. Followed through by Damien Hutchie. Shane Wright and Aaron Grieger. Oh, Shane's uh, lost it on this corner. So has Aaron Grieger and Damon Hutchins has managed to keep going. Through the centre of the track they go. It's part nine. Alexander Schultz showing the way. Followed through by Mark Caruso and Michael Wise. Brett Billing is next and then we have Matthew Riley and Damien Hutchings. Past the pits. Alexander Schultz showing the way. Mark Caruso looking for the inside line. Michael Wise out wide. Followed through by uh, Brett Billing. Next then we have part 17, Matthew Riley and Damien Hutchings. straight it's Mark Caruso right on the tail of Alexander Schultz as they come around past the pits. Michael Wise is next and we have Brett Billing followed through next and we have part 17 Matthew Riley and Damien Hutchings. looking for that inside line. Alexander closes the door as they come around past the pits. It's Alexander Schultz, followed through by Mark Caruso. Michael Wise is next with Brett Billing. Then we have Matthew Riley, followed through by Damien Hutchings. Through the centre as they come. Alexander hanging on to that lead from Mark, followed through by Michael Wise and Brett Billing. Matthew Riley and Damien Hutchings. Schultz followed through by Mark Caruso. Next then it's Michael Wise with Brett Billing, Matthew Riley and Damien Hutchings. Alexander's open up a bit of a break this time as they come around by the pits. The white flag out, the J Junior Heat into their last lap. Alexander Schultz followed through by Mark Caruso. Michael Wise with Brett Billing followed through by Matthew Riley and Damien Hutchings. Through the hairpin for the last time they come. Alexander Schultz and Mark Caruso. Michael Wise with Brett Billing. Followed through next then we have Matthew Riley and Damien Hutchings. Alexander's looking like leading this one. Woe to go. Go to woe, whichever way it goes. Around he comes, takes the checkered flag for the first heat. Alexander Schultz followed through by Mark Caruso. Michael Wise is next with Brett Billing. Then we have Matthew Riley and Damien Hutchings. Russo in two, Scott Grosser, Tracy Wise, Scott Gaskell, Luke Elliott, Leith Bilney and Dylan Jenkin as they're coming around the pit corner now and they've got a start. And it's a good start out of two.
two by Stephen Caruso. Oh, one of them's got tied up there. Uh, card 80, unfortunately, Tracy Wise. And card 46, Luke Elliott, unfortunately. No, we have a restart. We will have a restart in this junior's heat. So we'll get the juniors back on track and have them regridded up. Ready for a start in race two. Ryan Banks on pole, Stephen Caruso on two. Stephen hasn't uh, looking for the start as he comes out of the first corner. Stephen Caruso followed through by uh, Scott Grosser. Next then is cart 13, Scott Gaskell, followed through by, um, I think it might be, no, I'm not sure, can't see from here, sorry. Out down the back straight they come. It's Stephen Caruso, our leader. He's showing the way from Scott Grosser in second as they come through the pit corner. Next then we have Scott Gaskell, followed through by uh, Tracy Weiss is next, and then it's Ryan Banks. Behind them we have Luke Elliott with um, Leith Bilney and Dylan Jenkins. Stephen Caruso is showing the way. Scott Grosser next. Followed through then we had uh, Tracy Wise. Oops, we've got somebody in a bit of trouble at the back, but they've managed to keep going. Out of the pit corner they come for the third lap. It's Stephen Caruso with Scott Grosser. Followed through by Scott Gaskell. Next then we have Tracy Wise. Through card 46, Luke Elliott. Lee Filmy is next. Followed through by Ryan Banks and Dylan Jenkins. They're closing the gap on Stephen Caruso in the lead. Stephen Caruso and uh, Scott Grosser right there. Next in we have Scott Gaskell as they come around past the pits once more. Part 47 is showing the way. Stephen Caruso, Scott Grosser is next. Then we have Scott Gaskell. Followed through by Tracy Wise. Part 46, Luke Elliott. Lee Filmy is next with Ryan Banks and Dylan Jenkins. Through the hairpin once more. Three nose to tail. Stephen Caruso, Scott Grosser, and Scott Gaskell. Next, then we have Tracy Wise, followed through by Luke Elliott, and then it's Leith Bilney. Car park, uh, pit corner once more. Stephen Caruso with Scott Gaskell. Next then we have Tracy Wise. Next behind them is Luke Elliott, followed through by Lee Bilney. Dylan Jenkins is next and then we have Ryan Banks. Down the back straight once more they come. Little bit of a gap between second and third this time. It's Stephen Caruso showing the way with Scott Grosser. Next then we have uh, Scott Gaskell coming in in the third position. Behind them it's Tracy Wise, followed through by Luke To the main straight come the Jay Juniors race two. It's Stephen Caruso, followed through by Scott Grosser. Next in we have Scott Gaskell, followed through by Tracy Wise. Luke Elliott is next, and then we have Dylan Jenkin working his way through the field. Leith Bilney, followed through by Ryan Banks. As they go down the back once more. Young Scott Grosser's right there with Stephen Caruso, and unfortunately for Scott Gaskell, he's spun out on that corner. That leaves the first two a bit of a stretch. The white flag going into their last lap. It's Stephen Caruso and Scott Grosser. Followed through by Tracy Wise and Luke Next then we have Dylan Jenkin with Ryan Banks and Leith Milney. A round through the centre rest for the last time for this J Junior heat. It's Stephen Caruso with Scott Grosser right with him. Then there's a bit of a stretch to uh, Tracy Wise. Followed through next then we have Luke Elliott and Dylan Jenkin with... Um, Followed through by Scott Grosser. Next in it's Tracy Wise with Luke Elliott, Dylan Jenkins, followed through by Ryan Banks and Leith Bilney. Here we have 11 100cc motors and the ladies got pole with all the boys behind them. Oh, as they come into the first corner, oh gee, I wouldn't want to be a steward in this one. Peter Round comes out our leader, followed through by Charmaine Spackman and then it's Paul Wilkie. 
Mark McCarthy is next, then Derek Cossingham and Tom Borden. Troy Albiti, Craig Kennewell. Next then it's uh, Vern Anderson followed through and Derek's over in the dust and so is Tom Borden with him. No, not Tom Borden, Mark McCarthy. Derek Cossingham and uh, Mark McCarthy. And I think Derek's looking for a restart. Tom Borden's done a great move up the fourth from the rear of the field. Uh, next in we have Troy Albiti and Craig Kennewell. Vern Anderson is next. Mark Burford followed through by Scott Stevens. The 100cc and the power is on. It's Peter Round, our leader. Followed through in second position is Paul Wilkie and Tom Borden's up to third from the rear of the field. He's really got the power. Close the gap on Peter Round as they come out. Peter Round, Paul Wilkie, Tom Borden. Next in we have uh, Craig Kennewell with Troy Albiti. Vern Anderson is next with Mark Burford, Charmaine Spackman and Scott Stevens. Down to the pit corner. And Peter Round's hanging on to this lead from Paul Wilkie. Tom Straight they go. It's Peter Round. Followed through by Paul Wilkie and Tom Borden. Craig Kennewell is next with Troy Albiti. Vern Anderson. Next then it's Mark Burford with Charmaine Spackman and Scott Stevens. Pass the safe come once more. Troy Albiti Vern Anderson, Mark Burford and Charmaine Spackman with Scott Stevens. Craig Kennewell through to third, the Australia 2 driver. Next, Peter Round, our leader. Followed through by Paul Wilkie. Craig Kennewell's out after them now. Tom Borden, followed through by Troy Alvinti, Vern Anderson, Mark Burford. Next, then we have Charmaine Spackman and Scott Stevens. Back to the pit corner comes our leader. It's Peter In position two is cart 49, Kenneth George. Grid three, 105, Ian Ogilvy. Grid four, Australia, one, Dean Davies. Grid five is The Briggs and Stratton are underway. Andrew Wonderberg shows away from Ian Ogilvy. Followed through next is Dean Davies with Kenneth George. Next then we have Stephen Shearer, Alan Miller, Doug Eady, and uh, then it's Phil Hall. Down the back straight for the first time. Andrew Wonderberg is showing the way. Ian Ogilvy is in the second position with Dean Davies next. Around the outside comes Alan Miller. Then it's Stephen Shearer, Doug Eady, Kenneth George, and Phil Hall. Two for straight they come. Doug Eady, Phil Hall and Kenneth George. Good 
good move up the inside by Alan Miller as he came out of that corner into the third position. Andrew Wannenberg is our leader still with Dean Davies in second. Alan Miller, SA1 through the third. Followed through by Kenneth George. Through the hairpin they drive, and Alan Miller's close the gap on the front two now. Andrew Wonderberg, Dean Davies, and Alan Miller. Followed through next, and we have uh, Dunedin. Followed through by Ian Ogilvie and Stephen Shearer, Bill Hall, and Kenneth George. Hi, <coughs> 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 Andrew. Pass the main straight, they come. Then we have Ian Ogilvy, Stephen Shearer with Bill Hall and Kenneth George. Next 107. Andrew Wunderberg showing the way. Dean Davis is next with Alan Miller. We have Stephen Shearer. Ian Oak will be next with Bill Hall and Kenneth George as they go through the centre here. Andrew Wunderberg, Dean Davis, and Alan Miller and Doug Eady. Stephen Shearer with uh, Ian Oak will be followed through by Phil Hall. Next scene we have Kenneth George. Showing the way, followed through by Dean Davies. Next, then we have Alan Miller and Doug Eden. Stephen Shearer is next with Ian Ogilvy, Bill Hall, and Kenneth George. When they come into the main straight this time, they'll get the white flag. Into the last lap for the Briggs and Stratton. Andrew Wonderland, Next, then we have Stephen Shearer, followed through by Ian Ogilvy, Bill Hall, and Kenneth George. they come into the pit corner to take the checkered flag. A bit of a challenge on the outside by Doug Eady. It'll be Andrew Wonderberg takes his pick from Dean Davis. Alan Miller third, followed through by Doug Eady. Then there's a bit of a gap to Stephen Shearer, followed through by Ian Ogilvy, Bill Hall, and Kenneth George. Six is 86 Carly Tozer. Grid seven is 98 Brigitte Palmer. Grid eight is SA1 Charmaine Speckman. And grid nine, Cart 50 Jamie Jenkins. And they're racing. Unfortunately for Nadine O'Connor, she had a uh, motor problem there at the start and then grid two. Debbie Wilkins first into the hairpin, followed through by Sandra Doyle and Lindy Bond. Next then we have uh, Debbie Williams followed through by Kylie Tozer and Charmaine Spackman. Down the car, back straight they come and look at the lead Debbie Wilkie has. Around the outside of Sandra Doyle goes Lindy Bond to say come into the pit corner. No, we have a restart. The uh, Casey ladies are having a restart for some reason or other. Through the pit corner they'll look for the green flag this time. the first corner they come and it's uh, Debbie Wilkie showing the way from the Dean O'Connor. Next thing we have Debbie Williams with Carly Tosa. Sandra Doyle is next followed through by Charmaine Spackman, Nicky Bond, Jamie Jenkins and Brigitte Palmer. 
Down the back straight they go. It's Debbie Wilkie, Nadine O'Connor. Debbie Williams is next with Carly Tozer. Then we have Charmaine Spagman, Mindy Bond, Sam. on pole, Lee Healy on two, Jared Moore three, Ricky Mayolo four, Jamie Crouch, Bradley T. And they're off and going as they come into the first corner and are all very tied up and it was a great line on the inside for Jamie Crouch and he took it. It's Jamie Crouch into the lead and Ben McNamara from the rear of the field got right through into the second spot while the front ones were sorting themselves out. Timothy Crouch has finished up in third, followed through then we have the uh, Ricky Mayo Low and then it's Lee Healy and Jared Moore as they come through the pit corner for the first time. Jamie Crouch, followed through by Timothy Crouch. Timothy Crouch is next, Ricky Mayo Low, Lee Healy, Jared Moore, followed through then by Bradley T. Through the hairpin, Jamie Crouch is showing the way with Ben McNamara. Timothy Crouch is third, followed through by Lee Healy. Ricky Mayolo next with Jared Moore, and then we have Bradley T. Out of the pit corner to the main straight they come. It's Jamie Crouch, our leader. Ben McNamara. Crouch is next with Lee Healy, Jared Moore. 
up a couple of spots there. Next then we have uh, Ricky Mayolo and Bradley T. Through the hairpin, Jamie Crouch the leader. Next then it's Ben McNamara with Timothy Crouch. Jared Moore is next with Lee Healy, followed through by Ricky Mayolo and Bradley T. The leader's coming through the pit corner now. Jamie Krauss, Ben McNamara, Timothy Krauss, Jared Moore, Lee Healy and Ricky Mayolo. Next then we have Bradley Ting. Back sweeper comes our leader, Jamie Crouch showing the way. Ben McNamara in second, followed through by Timothy Crouch, Jared Moore, and Lee Healy and Ricky Mayolo with Bradley Ting. Australia 1, Harold Buell. Grid 8, Cart 70, local gentleman Jeff Billing. And in Grid 9, Peter Williams in Cart 41 and Alan Miller is a special. A great jump from Grid 2 from Vern Anderson in Australia 3 and he's got a uh, good lead. Then for others is second and then we have John Hyde break through with Harold Buell. Trevor Tozer is next, Jeff Billing. Peter Williams and Alan Simmons unfortunately has had a bit of a problem and uh, Rocky Wright's trying to give him a helping hand on the way. As they come around the back straight and into the pit corner for the first time, it's Bert Anderson. Jeff Billing is looking for the inside line and then it's John Hyde Brink followed through by Trevor Tozer. Peter Williams is next. Oh, I think uh, that Rocky Wright and Alan Simmons are hooked together there at the back of Alan's car as they pass us this time. So unfortunately for both drivers, Alan's going nowhere and Rocky's going wherever Alan pulls him. Australia 3 showing the way, Bert Seems to be slow. 
Zoe's out. Back down the back straight is our leader, and it's uh, Vern Anderson, Harold Bill next. Len Carruthers ahead of Trevor Toza, followed through then next. We have John Ivory. Oh, and Jeff Billings. Through on the inside. And As they come out of the hairpin, it's Vern Anderson, followed through by Harold Bill. Len Carruthers is under all sorts of pressure from Trevor Toza. John Heitbrink is next. Then we have Peter Williams and Jeff Billings and Alan Simmons. Here comes our leader, Australia 3, Bern Anderson, doing it well in the lead. Harold Beale is in the second position. Follow through then we have Ben Carruthers and Trevor Toza. Set it, John Heitbrink. Billings and Peter Williams. Follow through by uh, Alan Simmons. Corner they come, and it's Vern Anderson showing the way with Harold Billings. Trevor Tozer into the third position with Ben Carruthers next. Jeff Billing followed through by John Heidrich, and then they've got Peter Billings. We have Alan Simmons. Statesman come around this time. Neville Clark bringing them in on pole and Dean Davies in group two. Looking for the green flag and they have one. Great jump from Dean as he came around and took the lead. Neville Clark challenging very quickly as he comes through the hairpin. It's Neville Clark, Dean Davies, Peter Hull as they settle down on the first lap. Dean's lost it. He's spun out and we've lost uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them over in the dirt. So I would possibly suggest there'll be a restart, which we have. So we have our cross flags. So this statesman group will come back and we'll have a uh, restart. Now we're looking for another start. And we have one of Great start from Dean Davies off his grid two again, but the similar Neville Clark was able to get that medal down and get through into the lead into the hairpin. Neville Clark is our leader, followed through by Lynn Grosser, and then we have Dean Davies. Dave Sutton is next with Len Pomeroy, followed through by Peter Gaskell. Gavin Hennig is next, and then we have Peter Hull as they come down the back straight to the car park, uh, pit corner for the first time. It's Neville Clark, our leader, followed through by Lynn our leader. Lynn Grosser, whoops, Lynn Grosser's just lost the chain or something there. I'm very unfortunate for him in the second position. Neville Clark, followed through by Dean Davies. Dave Sutton is next. Peter Gaskell, followed through by Gavin Hennig. Nigel Fosdyke and David Earl. The hairpin looms again. It's Neville Clark and Dave Sutton. A great pass on the inside. And Len Pomery followed him through. Dean Davies obviously has a problem with the car. Peter Hurrell's through now on Dean Davies as well. Peter Gaskell is next, being passed by Gavin Hennig. And then we have Nigel Fosdyke. Around they come, it's Neville Clark. Followed through by Dave Sutton and Len Pomery. Dean Davies and Gavin Hennig. Peter Gaskell is next, and then we have Nigel Fosdyke. Clark's 
making the most of his lead as he comes into the pit corner. Class 110, Neville Clark, our leader, followed through by Dave Sutton. Sutton has the pressure on him from Peter Hurrell, looking for that second spot as they come down the back straight into the pit corner. It's Neville Clark, our leader, Dave Sutton, Peter Hurrell. Peter Hull. Then Pomery is next, followed through by Gavin Hinnick. Then we have Peter Gaskell, Nigel Fosdyke and uh, Dean Davis. Around they come. Sutton second. Here comes the challenge from Peter Hurrell again in 53. Then Pomeroy fourth, followed through by Gavin Hitty. Then we have Peter Gaskell, Nigel Foster, and Dean Davis. Right flag. It's the last lap for the statesman. It's Neville Clark and Peter Hurrell looking for that line again. Whoops, he's done something to the motor this time. Dave Sutton in second. Drop the chain, I say. Neville Clark, our leader. Dave Sutton second. Then Pomeroy in third. Gavin Hennig, Peter Gaskell, Nigel Fosdyke and Dean Davies. For the last time, Neville Clark will negotiate this pit corner and he'll take the chequered flag. Card 110, Neville Clark takes his seat. Dave Sutton, second. Then Pomeroy, Gavin Hennig, Peter Gaskell, Nigel Fosdyke and Dean Davies in that statesman class. Two, Grandview Kicker in three, Dennis Burford four, Craig Bear is still at five, Chad Roddy Up and going. And a great start. As they come out of the first corner, it's half 17. Grandview Kicker has come in front with Craig Bear. Stephen Zealand is next, followed through by them is Chad Podmore. Down the back straight they go for the first time. It's Grandview Kicker, our leader, with Craig Bannerstilt in second position. Next then we have Robert Knight, Rick Mark. Next then we have Chad Podmore. Thank you. 
show your appreciation. Five seventeen. Glad you can. Thanks for the second leg, and he's very happy with that. Craig Vanderstilt had a good second, followed through by Mark Bertha. Dennis Bertha's managed to nurse his cart through to fourth position. Stephen Zealand is fifth, followed through.
as they come down the back for the first time. It's uh, Lee Healy, our leader, with Lee Davidson. Next in is Paul Tozer, Robert Fennell, and Greg Barford as they come into the pit corner. The base is a blister on this one. Greg Barford. Next in we have Cart 94, Sam Phelps, followed through then by Jared Moore. Then it's Adrian Clovers. There at the back is Cart 23, Team Buick, and Glenn Davidson. Down the back straight they come, it's Lee Healy with Lee Davidson. Paul Tozer next with Robert Fernell, followed through by Greg Barlett and Jared Moore. Sam Phelps is next with eight. And Greg Davidson. Out of the hairpin they go. Lee Healy, followed through by Lee Davidson and Paul Tozer. Robert Fernell is next with Greg Barlett. Behind them is Jared Moore, Sam Phelps, Adrian Crowhurst, Glenn Davidson and Dean Buick. Back to the pit corner. Lee Healy with the Robert Fennell, Sam Phelps, Glenn Davidson and Dean Buick. What a blister these KT lights are going. It's Lee Healy with Lee Davidson and Paul Tozer. Robert Fennell is next, Jared Moore. We've lost Greg Bartlett somewhere. Unfortunately, if we have a new leader, it's Lee Davidson as they come into the pit corners this time. Lee Healy with Paul Tozer, Robert Fennell, followed by Jared Moore, Sam Phil. Next with Glenn Davidson and Dean Buick. The hairpin is Australia one, Lee Davidson showing the way. Lee Healy next with Paul Tozer. Followed through then we have uh, Sam Phelps ahead of Jared. No, sorry, Robert Fennell ahead of Jared Moore. Sam Phelps, Adrian Crowhurst, Glenn Davison and Dean Buick. Back to our leader, Lee Davison, showing the way to the second now with Lee Healy, followed through by Robert Fennell, Jared Moore. Next then we have Sam Phelps, Adrian Crowhurst, Glenn Davidson and One, Lee Davison, he's pulling away as they go. He's only got one lap. Okay, Lee Fosdyke bringing them in. David Carruthers on two. Into the first corner they come. Oh, there's plenty of jumping. The poor guy from West Australia, John Thompson, found out what it was like to race over here. And we've got a good lead from Lee Fosdyke off of his pole. Paul Carruthers was quick off of uh, grid three. Followed through by my older brother David in, in uh, cart 21. Look at Derek bossing him up there from grid eight and he's up into fourth. Great little driver, Derek. As they come around, Lee Foster. Then we have Rory Button. He's made a good move from the rear of the field. Oh, look at them three wide coming into the hairpin. This will be a tough as they go through. It's um, cart 86. He's in the right place out on his own. Lee Foster. And the brothers aren't giving an inch to each other. It's David Carruthers, Paul Carruthers and Derek fighting amongst them as well. Not fighting as in literally, but having a tussle. As they come around, oh, Lee Fosdyke's wide.
back to our leader, Lee Fosdyke. David Carruthers out after him now. Derek Possingham in third. Rory Button is in the fourth position with Paul Carruthers. Troy Al beating. Down to the pit corner they come. It's Lee Fosdyke. David Carruthers and Derek Fosdyke, our leader, David Carruthers and Derek Possingham. Next then we have Rory Button with Troy Alvitti. Paul Carruthers next with Simon Bokes and uh, Alan McFarland. There they go, and it's a tight corner. Car 21, David Carruthers through first into the hairpin. David Carruthers, Lee Fosdyke, Derek Possingham waiting to pounce. Rory Button is next, followed through by Troy Alvitti. Then we have Simon Bokes, uh, Paul Carruthers and Alan McFarlane. Back to the pit corner. David Carruthers, the leader, followed through by Lee Fosdyke. Next then we have Derek Simon Bokes, Paul Carruthers and Tim McFarlane. Here we've got the hairpin and Derek's looking for the third spot on Lee Fosdyke. Out they come. David Carruthers, the leader, Derek Fossingham through in the second. Then we have Lee Fosdyke followed through by Troy Alvinti. Rory Button is next and then we have uh, Simon Bokes, Paul Carruthers and Alan McFarlane. Back to our leader. He's got his number, he wants to beat him. Car 21, David Carruthers, 211, Derek Possingham. Troy Alvides next with Lee Fosdyke. One lap to go for the Casey Knights. It's David Carruthers and Derek Possingham. for Jimmy Kalizos. Here they come again. Let's see if they can get it this time. Mark Burr for Jimmy Kalizos. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, Carl and Burr into the side of Jimmy as they come around. But everybody still kept going. It's Mark Burford, Carl and Burr going. Followed through by Dennis Burford. Doey's looking. Oh, Doey's on the back. Whoops, a daisy. Can't get off. Oh dear, oh dear. How's everybody else's heart? Mine's in the mouth. Mark Burke is our leader. Carl M. Dill. Jimmy Kalizos will be really mad if this is start. Dennis Burke and Dolly Ellison. And now they come down. They all seem to have settled down to racing mode. It's Mark Burke, Carl M. Dill, Jimmy Kalizos, Dennis Burke and Dolly Ellison. Through the centre hairpin they go. Australia one, Mark Burke, Carl M. Dill, Jimmy Kalizos, Dennis Burke and Dolly Ellison. <coughs> Through the pit corner. It's uh, Mark Burford showing the way. Charlie and Bill, Jimmy Kalizos, Dennis Burford and Dolly Ellison. Into the hairpin they come. Australia one, Mark Burford, Charlie and Bill in his SA3. Car 26, Jimmy Kalizos, Dennis Burford is next, and Dolly Ellison. Australia one, Mark Murphy comes out of the pit corner first. Carl and Bill, Kalizos, one of them. And Dowie Ellison. Here's a challenge for the second spot. Jimmy's made up the grounding loss. He's right on the back of Carl and Bill now as they come out of the hairpin. It's Mark Burford, Carl and Dill, Jimmy Kalizos, followed through by Dennis Burford and Doe Ellison. Down the back straight around into the pit corner. It's Mark Burford, Carl and Dill, and Jimmy Kalizos. Dennis Burford and Doe Ellison. This, oh, Jimmy's got it. He's through into the second spot. A good clean pass into second. It's Mark Burford. Now Jimmy's out after that lead. It's 
Mark Burford and Jimmy Kalaisos, Carly and Jill third. Dennis Burford next and Doey Ellison. Away comes Mark Burford in his Australia one to that pit corner. Oh no, Jimmy's caught the wind roll and he's spun it. tried to miss him and unfortunately he's brought himself to a halt. Dennis Burford managed to go around the outside and Doeing Ellison. So it's Mark Burford, Dennis Burford in second and Carl Endell third. As they come around now, Australia won. Mark Burford our leader, followed through by Dennis Burford and Doeing Ellison. They've got to be there when they Burford, our leader in Australia, one. He's going to come around the pit corner now. All the pressure's off. There's a fair way back. He's got the white flag. Mark Burford, one lap to go. Dennis Burford in second. Try to miss Jimmy, but unfortunately he brought himself unstuck as well. Australia won. Mark Burford will cruise around. He'll take the second flag for this heat. The second will be Dad Dennis Burford. Part 99 and Doeing Part 19 will get third points. 200 cc open. Dale Lloyd on pole, Mark Solly on two, Mark Ashton in three, and Darren Van Der Ward in four. Solly's our leader, followed through by Mark Ashton. Next then we have Darren Vanderward and Dale Lord. Lloyd. Down the back straight for the first time. Mark Solly's just keeping the nose in the front as they come down. Mark Solly our leader, followed through by Mark Ashton. Next then we have Darren Vanderward and Dale Lord. lost it over at the back straight. Oh, very bad luck for Mark. Had the lead. And uh, so that leaves Darren Van Der Ward in the lead and Dale Lloyd. Only the two parts left going in the Outlaw 250 car. I think Mark Ashton's a little bit upset with himself there.
Wallace, the white flag out this time, into their last lap. Darren Van Hood and Dale Moore. Darren Van de Ward takes the first heat for the Outlaw 250 Club. And through in the second spot will be Dale Lloyd. Brooke Alexander following him through with Matthew Garrick and poor old Brenton Ferguson to meet in the sandwich. Owen Pitt is next, followed through by Paul Wilkie, Michael Barbato, Gary Carlier. Wayne Riley. Around they come to the pits. It's Dennis Burford, our leader, with Brooke Alexander. Followed through by Matthew Garrett. Alan Pitt is next. And then we have Richard Ferguson. Followed through by Gary Carlia, Michael Barbato, and Wayne Riley. We have a change to the order. Dennis Burford, followed through by Matthew Garrett and Paul Wilkie. Next we have Brooke Alexander, Gary Carlia, and Owen Pitt. Brendan Ferguson, Michael Barbato and Wayne Riley. To the pit corner once more, it's Australia 3, Dennis Bird has shown the way.
for southeastern fuel distributors. So we would like to thank all those people for their support. Coming in now, we've got Dylan Jenkins on the pole and Shane Ryan on two. Into the first corner they go, and uh, little Luke Elliott had a bit of a cross up, but he's managed to keep it going and coming out into the hairpin now. Dylan Jenkins, our leader, Shane Wright. Followed through next, and we have Alexander Schultz. And we've lost. Uh, Number 80, I think it is, Tracy Wise, unfortunately, there on the hairpin corner. Very bad luck for Tracy, she did well in her first heat. Shane Wright is our new leader, followed by Dylan Jenkins. Next then we have Alexander Schultz, and then we have uh, Luke Elliott. Behind them is car 21, Ryan Banks, and then it's uh, Aaron Brieger. And just coming through behind him is car 70, Brett Billing. Out of the hairpin they come once more. Shane Wright, Australia one is showing the way down the back straight from Dylan Jenkins. Into the pit corner they come. It's Shane Wright, followed through by Dylan Jenkins. Next then we have uh, the young driver in Alexander Schultz. Then we have Luke Elliott. Behind him is Ryan Bates. Then it's uh, Aaron Breeder and Brett Billy. As they go through the hairpin, the back markers are having a very good tussle together. Shane Wright is our leader, followed through by Dylan Jenkins and Alexander Schultz is next. As we go, Shane's open up a good lead in his Australia one. Shane Wright, Dylan Jenkins, followed through by Alexander Schultz. Next then we have Luke Elliott behind him. And uh, Ryan Banks, followed through by Aaron Breeder and Brett Billy. Australia one, Shane Wright's down the back straight in the lead with a bit of a gap now to Dylan Jenkins. Right behind Dylan it is Alexander Schultz. Through the pit corner they come, our leaders. Behind Alexander we have a uh, bit of a gap and then we've got Luke Elliott. He's been followed by Ryan Banks and then we have uh, Aaron Greger and Brett Billy. The leaders into the hairpin, Australia one, Shane Wright. Dylan Jenkins is next with Alexander Schultz. Follow through then we have uh, Luke Elliott. Then it's Ryan Banks with uh, Aaron Grieger and Brett Billy. Australia one, Shane Wright, followed through by Dylan Jenkins, then it's Alexander Schultz. Luke Elliott is next. Then we have uh, Ryan Banks, followed through by Aaron Grieger and Brett Billy. Shane comes around the pit corner this time, he'll see the white flag. Shane Wright showing the way in the Jay Shane Wright followed through by Dylan Jenkins. We've got a bit of a gap there to Luke Elliott, followed through by Ryan Banks, and I've lost young Alexander Schultz over there on the back straight. Very bad luck for him, he was a good third. Luke Elliott now moves into third with Ryan Banks. Brett Milling has also moved up on Aaron Breeder. Down the back straight for the last time for this heat of Jay Juniors and Shane Wright will take the chequered flag in Australia 1, Dylan Jenkins, who is second. Luke Elliott will take the third points ahead of uh, Ryan Banks, followed through by Brett Billing and Aaron Grieger. Oh, a good pass there by the little fella in the yellow. 
through they come. It's Mark Caruso in the second spot is Damien Hutchins and Luke Filney. Moved up the third on Michael Wise. Next then we have Stephen Caruso. Followed through then with cart 17 is uh, Matthew Riley and Scott Rosser. The juniors are having a very good tussle here. Mark Caruso is having an armchair ride but the rest of the juniors are having a really good race. Damien Hutchings is in second position from Leith Bilney. Followed through next then we've got Stephen Caruso. Leith Bilney is through into the second spot now. Mark Caruso our leader. Leith Bilney second. Followed through by Damien Hutchings and Rosser. As they come out of the hairpin, Mark Caruso is in the back straight. Leith Bilney's opened a bit of uh, leeway for himself from Stephen Caruso. Next then we have Damien Hutchins. Round the pit corner, Mark Caruso, followed through by Leith Bilney. Stephen Caruso in the next speaking on the radio this morning regarding the dirt karting and it's great to hear the publicity in the southeast that this club is uh, getting for this weekend. Back to our 100 seats. What a start from Derek Possingham out of Brig 2. It's Derek Possingham showing the way from Tom Board and Craig Kennewell is next with Mark Burford. Bern Anderson, Troy Alvigi, Scott Stevens, Peter Brown. Follow through next we've got Paul Wilkie, Mark McCarthy and Charmaine Spackman. The 100 cc's are down the back straight for the first time and look at young Derek. Derek crossing him in Australia, one showing the way from Tom Borden. They can have well through by Paul Wilkie, Mark McCarthy, Scott Stevens and Charmaine Spackman. Through the centre of the field they go. It's Derek Cossingham and look at him pulling out. We've only done one of the bit laps. Derek Cossingham and Tom Borden, Craig Kennewell and Mark Burford. Bern Anderson is next with Troy Albini, Peter Round, followed through by Paul Wilkie. Next then we have Mark McCarthy. <laughs> Australia won Derek Crossingham, Tom Borden and Craig Kennewell, Mark Burford and Bern Anderson. Troy Alvinti is next with Peter Round, followed through by Paul Wilkie. Next then we have Mark McCarthy and we've lost Scott Stevens in the uh, centre of the hairpin. Australia won Derek Crossingham's coming around the pit corner. Tom Borden is next with Craig Kennewell, Mark Burford has a problem. Mark Burford's coming off. Bern Anderson is next. 
Kenneth George in cart 49 and grid 8, 107 Andy Wonderbird and we've got a start. As they come into the first corner, it's uh, Doug Eadie's got away well and uh, Alan Miller's followed him through from his uh, good position. Doug Eadie, Alan Miller, followed by Bill Hall. Next then we've got Dean Davies. Stephen Shearer is next with Kenneth George, followed by Andy Wonderbird and Ian Ogilvy. around to the pits they come for the first time. It's Doug Indy, our leader with Alan Miller. Next then we have Bill Hall, followed through by Dean Davies. Kenneth George is next, and then we have Steve Andrew Wonderberg and Ian Ogilvy. Bits and Stratton carts all very even. Doug Eady, our leader in SA2, SA1 following him, Alan Miller. Next then we have uh, Phil Hall with Australia 1, Dean Davies. Stephen Shearer is next, followed by Kenneth Ford. Challenge here from Alan Miller onto Doug Eady as they're coming through the hairpin. Doug Eady's a little bit quicker out. Doug Eady in SA2. SA1 is Alan Miller in second spot. Bill Hall looking for the inside line on Australia 1, Dean Davies. Stephen Shearer is next, followed through by Ken George. Then we have Andrew Wondenberg and Ian Ogilvy. Around come our leaders. Doug Eady and Alan Miller, Bill Hall and Ken Davies. Stephen Shearer with Kenneth George. Andrew Wondenberg and Ian Ogilvy. Challenge here from Dean Davies on Phil uh, Hall as they go through this bottom corner to the back straight. In the lead still is Doug Eady, Alan Miller just waiting to pounce on him. Phil Hall is next, followed through by Dean Davies. Next then we have Stephen Shearer, followed through by Kevin Shearer. Andrew Wonderberg and Ian Ogilvy. 
Well, here's a challenge around the outside by Alan Miller in the hairpin. Dougie on the inside, Alan Miller went out on the outside but had stuck in behind. Dougie the Alan Miller, Paul Hall and Dean Davis. Stephen Shearer is next, followed through by Kenneth George, Andrew Wondenberg and Ian Ogilvy.
Katie ladies. It's Sir Jamie Jeekin, followed through by Carly Tozer. It's Charmaine Speckman. Brigitte Palmer showing the way from Mindy Bond, Debbie Williams, Debbie Wilkie and Nadine O'Connor. As Jamie comes around the pit corner this time, I think she'll get the white flag. Last lap for the KT ladies, Jamie G. of the KT ladies. Coming across the line fourth will be Debbie Wilkie, followed through by Nadine O'Connor. Debbie Williams is next, Brigitte Palmer and Lindsay Bond. Grid four, Ricky Mayolo. Grid five, Jared Moore. Grid six, Lee Healy. And grid seven, Timothy Crowell. And they're off and racing. And a little bit extra as well. Through the uh, hairpin for the first time is Ben McNamara, followed through by Jamie Crouch. Next is Ricky Mayolo with Jared Moore. Timothy Crouch is next, followed through then uh, by um, Lee Healy, I think it is. And then we have Bradley T. Down the pit corner they come and Ricky Mayolo is making a challenge. Ben McNamara, Ricky Mayolo in second. Jamie Crouch protecting that second position and Jared Moore trying to keep right up there as well, not to be relegated to four. It's Ben McNamara in the lead, a great race here in the J Open. Jamie Crouch second, followed through by Ricky Mayolo and Jared Moore. Timothy Crouch is next, Lee Healy, and then we have uh, Bradley Tink. Down the back straight, Ben McNamara is showing the way in the J Open. Here comes Ricky again for another challenge for that second spot. It's Ben McNamara, Jamie Crouch, Ricky Mayolo, by Jared Moore. Timothy Crouch is next with Lee Healy and Bradley Tink. And Ricky's got the inside line now as they come through the hairpin and Jared's looking for it as well on Jamie Crouch. Poor old Jamie's got him coming at him always. Ben McNamara is our leader. Ricky Mayolo in second. Jamie Crouch hanging on for that third spot. Next then Timothy Crouch has come through for fourth. Jared Moore's dropped the position. Lee Healy is next and Bradley Tink. Ricky Mayolo's in the lead now as they come into the we have um, Ben McNamara, Jamie Crouch with a bit of pressure off him at the moment. Brother Tim's got it on him now. Tim Crouch followed through by Lee Healy, Jared Moore and then Bradley Tim. Back to the leader. Ricky Maolo is opening up a bit of a buffer now on Ben McNamara. Jamie Crouch is in third, Timothy Crouch fourth. Oh, Jared Moore's looking for the inside line on Lee Healy. Jared Moore through on the inside of Lee It's Ricky Mayolo, followed through by Jamie Crouch. Then we have Ben McNamara. Timothy Crouch is next. Jared Moore, Lee Healy and Bradley T. <laughs> Ricky Mayolo is our leader. Followed through by Jamie Crouch, Ben McNamara. Timothy Crouch is up on the inside of Jared Moore. Jared's around the outside, which will bring him back on the inside of the next one. It's Ricky Mayolo, followed through by Jamie Crouch. Jared Moore's up to third. Ben McNamara, Timothy Crouch, and Lee Healy fighting for that uh, next position, followed through by Badly T. This J Open class are having a real battle out here. It's Ricky Mayolo, he's out in the lead at the moment. Jamie Crouch in second. Now he's going to have the pressure on him again. It's Jared Moore. The next three boys are having a really good tussle. Ben McNamara, Timothy Crouch, and Lee Healy with Bradley T. Through the hairpin they go, it's Ricky Mayolo, Jamie Crouch, Jared Moore, Ben McNamara, Mac put your tongue in, Ben McNamara, Timothy Crouch, Lee Healy and Bradley T. Down the back straight comes Ricky Mayolo, I think he's going to see the white flag this time. Last lap for the J Open. Ricky Mayolo, followed through by Jamie Crouch and Jared Moore, Ben McNamara and Timothy Crouch and Lee Healy, followed through by Bradley 
Ponting. The leader, Ricky Mayolo, through the hairpin for the last time. Jamie Crouch second and Jared Moore third. Ben McNamara, Timothy Crouch, Lee Healy and Bradley Tink. <coughs> Down the back straight through the pit corner for the checkered flag. Card 112, Ricky Mayolo takes this heat of Jay open. Jamie Crouch is going to hang on for second. A great drive there by young Jamie. Next set is Jared Moore. Ben McNamara is fourth, followed through by Timothy Crouch, Lee Healy and Bradley T. distributors so we thank them very much for their support this weekend and the Lucendale president bringing this class in Nigel Foster Next then we have Rocky Wright with Len Pomery. Len Carruthers is next, Alan Simmons and Dean Davies.
Seven, cart 19, Lynn Grosser, grid 8, Australia 3, Vern Anderson, and grid 9, Neville Clark. And we've got a start. Uh, Jeff filling around the outside, knows his track like the back of his hand. Jeff filling in cart 20, will be first into the hairpin. And we have lost Vern Anderson as they were coming into the hairpin. It's Jeff filling our leader, followed through by Gavin Hennig. No restart, says the Chief Steward. So we've got Jeff filling in the lead, followed through by Gavin Hennig and Trevor Toza as they come into the pit corner for the first lap. Jeff filling, Gavin Hennig, followed through by Trevor Toza. Next then we have John Hartley, followed through them with Neville Clark. Then it's uh, cart 92, David Earl. Behind them we have cart 19, who is Lynn Rosser, and then we have um, Peter Gaskell. And we have lost Neville Clark. Gavin Henning, a very depleted Lynn Grosser, and then we have uh, Peter Gaskell. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Billing, our leader, followed by Trevor Tozer and Gavin Henning. Seven, John Crabb. Group six is Graham Group Hecker. Group seven, Darren Brook. And we've got a start in the Casey Heavies. And Ivan Stanton's got a great one. As they come into the hairpin for the first time, we've got somebody spun completely around, Andrew Cole. It's uh, Ivan Stanton, our leader, followed through by Andrew Wondenberg. Next in, we have, um, we have a restart. Andrew Cole deemed to be taken out a little bit unfairly here. I think it was very slippery and I think Andrew, uh, through no fault of his own, got spun out. 
So when we get these boys to slow down a bit and realise that they've got a restart, they're not still racing, we might be able to get something organised. Now, Katie Heavies, as they're coming in, into the uh, corner they come. It's uh, Ivan Stanton, we've lost another one again, another two. Ivan Stanton's our leader. Andrew Wondenberg is in uh, second spot. No, we've lost cart 17 this time, Graham Hukeka and Darren Brook, and we're going to have another restart in the uh, KT Heavens. Hopefully it'll be third time lucky. Of course, Garden Loan from Narraport sponsoring this heat. They go into the corner for the first time. It's Ivan Stanton who comes out in the lead, followed through by Graham Hukeka. Next then we have part seven, John Crabb, Andrew Wondenberg. And on the inside of Andrew we have um, Darren Brook, I think it is, from here. Our leader is Ivan Stanton as they come down the back straight for the first time. Graham Hukeka is in uh, second position. Followed through then we have Scotty Dornan from towards the rear of the field is looking for the outside line around as 
a bit of congestion there in the centre. Justin Kane's coming through the hairpin for the first time. Chad Wadmore and, and Mark Burford's in all sorts of style. Mark Burford um, playing with the Jets, trying to get that motor to go, but I, it's not looking healthy for Mark, unfortunately, at this stage. Uh, now he's got it mobile and uh, also two Gavin Earls having a few problems. Sorry, Dennis Burford, then we've got Matthew Garricky and Scotty Gordon. Todd Borden is next with Roger Trembath and Mark Burford. And unfortunately for Gavin Earl, he has stopped at the end of the hairpin uh, corner. Justin Kane has got a bit of a breeze out in the lead at the moment. Coming into the pit corner, followed through by Chad Watford. Next then we have we have Scotty Gordon and Matthew Garricky. Tom Borden is next with Roger Trembath and Mark Burford circulating. Justin Kane's our leader. Oh, it's tight in the centre of the uh, hairpin. Justin Kane, our leader. Chad Wadmore in second spot. Next in we have Dennis Burford with Scotty Dornan. Matthew Gericke is next, followed through by Tom Borden. Behind them then we have Roger Trenbar and Mark Burford. Chad Wadmore second. Dennis Burford next with Scotty Dornan. Matthew Gericke Tom Borden. Followed through by Roger Trembar. Then next we have Mark Burford. <laughs> Justin Kane, our leader, as he comes through the pit corner. Chad Wadmore is leading the rest of the field up behind him. Tom Borden is next with Roger Trembath and Mark Burford. And Scotty Dawn is through on Dennis and Chad Wadmore. Matthew Garrick is trying to follow him. He can't afford to let Scotty get away from him. Our leader, Justin Kane, he's doing it easily in the lead. Scotty Dawn is out in the second place now. Chad Wadmore next. Then we have Matthew Garrick, Dennis Burford, Tom Borden, Roger Trembath and Mark Burford. <laughs> They come into the hairpin, it's Justin Kane. Scotty Dawn is out after him and Matthew Gericke out after him next. Chad Wadmore is next, followed through by Dennis Burford. Then we have Tom Borden, Roger Trembar and Mark Burford. Down the back straight comes our leader, Justin Kane. He's having a breeze in the lead. Followed through by Scotty Dawn and Matthew Gericke. Then we have Chad Wadmore. Next then is Dennis Burford with Tom Borden, Roger Trembar and Mark Burford. pulling right over to the outside of the track. Justin Kane's our leader. Scotty Dornan is in second, followed through by Matthew Gericke. Next then we have Chad Wadmore. Followed through then we have uh, Tom Borden with uh, Roger Trembath, Dennis Burford and Mark Burford. Dennis looks like he's nursing his motor as well. The Burfords are suffering in this heat of the KTs. Justin Kane's our leader. He's having a good race and doing very well. Scotty's closing the gap, but there won't be time. Justin Kane, he'll take the pit corner to see that chequered flag waiting for him. Car 34, Justin Kane, a good win. Got a three second by Scotty Dornan. Third then is Matthew Gericke. Then we have Chad Rodmore. Got a three by Tom Gordon. Next then we have Roger Trenbath, and then it would be uh, Dennis Burford and Mark Burford. All I can say is I'm glad I don't belong to any of these boys who have to watch these ideals for this heat with Dean Buick next to him, Simon Bokes and then we have Glenn Davidson up at the car. Oh, very tight there as they come into the first corner. We've lost our leader Rory Button. We've got another one up on the mound on the inside of the track. As they come out of the uh, hairpin corner and going down to the back straight. to the pit corner they come on the first lap and I'll try and pick up our leader for you. Uh, Simon Boats, Lee Davidson is second, Glenn Davidson is next. Follow through then we have David Carruthers just around the outside.
of cart 76, who is Alan McFarlane. As they come into the back straight once more, it's Simon Boats, our leader. Followed through in the second position, then we have Lee Davidson, I think it is. Then he's followed by Glenn Davidson. Simon Boats showing the way in cart 87. Going the way through the hairpin Australia, one Lee Davison right on the back of him. Lee Davison is next, followed through by David Carruthers and Paul Tozer. Next thing we have is Lee Healy, followed through by Alan McFarlane. Simon Bokes has the pressure on him, he's leading this field as they come in. Simon Bokes, followed through by Lee Davison, Glenn Davison. David Carruthers is next with Paul Tozer. Lee Healy, followed through by Showing the way, Lee Davison is second with Glenn Davison, David Carruthers, Paul Tozer. Lee Healy is next with Alan McFarlane. Good race here in the KT Lights. Simon Boats giving the lead. Showing the way the seven. Simon Boats with Lee Davison, Glenn Davison, David Carruthers, Paul Tozer, Lee Healy and Alan McFarlane. Not much between these boys. As they come out of the hair. To tail. Lee looking for the outside line on Simon Boats. Down the back straight it's Simon Boats, Lee Davison, Glenn Davison. David Carruthers, Paul Tozer, Lee Healy and then it's Alan McFarlane. Main straight again, Simon oh, Lee Davison. Caught oh, the back of uh, Simon Boats' cart then. Simon filled a nudge but fortunately both of them were able to keep going. Simon Boats, Lee Davison. Oh, Glenn Davison hooked up the back of David Carruthers and slowed him right down, cost him two places, and it looks like Glenn, unfortunately, isn't going anywhere. As they come down the back once more, it's Simon Boats, our leader, followed through next, uh, sorry, Lee Davison, our leader. Simon Boats in second. Davison is still in the third position. Down the back straight they come. We have Lee Davison in the lead, followed through by Simon Boats. Glenn Davison is next with Lee Healy and David Carruthers and Alan McFarlane. Lee Davison leading them into their last lap. It's Lee Davison followed through by Simon Boats. Glenn Davison is next. And then we have Lee Healy with uh, David Carruthers and Alan McFarlane around the back straight for the last time. Australia won. It's Australia 1, Lee Davidson, he'll take the chequered flag. Followed through in second position is Simon Boats, had all the pressure on him, but he did very well. Glenn Davidson third, David Carruthers fourth, and Alan McFarlane through in fifth spot in the KT Lights. So, we have Jared Moore on pole, Derek Possingham on two, and we've got a great jump from Derek Possingham off of his two. With a bit of bumping and shunting, and we've lost Paul Carruthers. We've got Greg Bartlett in all sorts of strife in there, and so is John Thompson from Western Australia. Okay, so obviously the stewards didn't deem that Paul was taken out unfairly, so he'll sit on the sidelines for this one. Derek Possingham is our leader. Followed through in second spot, then we have Troy Allen. Greg Bartlett followed through by John Thompson and then we have Lee Fosdai. Through the hairpin and young Derek Possingham's got this KT on song. Derek Possingham showing the way. Troy Alvinti second. Next in we have um, Robert Fennell, I think it is. The old eyes aren't what they used to be. I'm having a bit of trouble picking them up now. Derek Possingham is our leader. Troy Alvinti. Robert Fennell. Followed through by John Thompson and Lee Fosdai. Have a look at the lead this young man's making in this heat. Car 211, Derek Crossingham. Followed through by Roy Alvinti. Robert Fennelli. Sam Phillips and Darren Then we have Greg Barker. Followed through by John Thompson. And somewhere along the line, I've lost Lee Fosdai. Oh, there he is over on the bottom corner. Derek 
passing in our leader, followed through by Troy Alvigi and Robert Fennell. Sam Phelps is next with Jared Moore, and then we have Greg Bartlett and uh, John Thompson. Sam Phelps with Jared Moore with John Thompson and Greg Butler. Derek Possey is showing the way down the back straight. Troy RBT, Robert Vermeule, Sam Phelps and Jared Moore. Followed through next in we have the and Greg Barclay. Derek's got the right. He's into his last lap now. Derek Hossingham, followed Greg Barclay. Robert is next, Sam Phelps and Jared Moore. Then we have John Thompson and Greg Barclay. Down the back straight will come Derek Hossingham in 211. He's a mile ahead. Derek Hossingham, our leader. Joy Alvigi, Robert Fennell, Sam Phelps with Jared Moore, John Thompson and Greg Barclay. But here he comes. takes his heat, followed through by Troy Alvinti, Robert Hill, Sam Phillips and Jared Moore, John Thompson and Greg Barton. Thank you very much, Nigel. We're right again now. We've got Dennis Burbett on four. We've got Mark Burbett started on three, Jimmy Kalizos on four and four. Oh, Joey, whoops, a daisy. Had been relegated to the rear of the field. Oh, from these boys. Oh, lordy, lordy. We'll just wait and see what's happening here. No, no restart for Mark Burford. Very unlucky then. I thought he's sitting on the middle through no fault of his own. Dennis Burford, Dennis and Doe Ellison. Around they come into the hairpin and uh, Dad Dennis Burford is leading. Followed through by Carl Endell. Next thing we've got Jimmy Kalizos with uh, Doe Ellison. Down the back they go. It's cart 99. Dennis Burford is our leader. Listen to these motors squealing the tool from on the back of these cars. Carl Endell, Dennis Burford, Carl Endell, Jimmy Kalizos and Doe Ellison. Through the hairpin once more they come. Dennis Burford with Carl Endell, Jimmy Kalizos and Doe Ellison. Down into the back straight. No change to the order. Very even the 200s. It's Dennis Burford, followed through by Carl Endell, Jimmy Kalizos and Doe Ellison through the pit corner. They come once more. Dennis Burford and Doe, Doe, oh, Sorry, Carl Endell second. Jimmy Kalizos and Doe Ellison. <laughs> Through the pit corner they come once more. Card 99, Dennis Burford. Card 8, Dennis Burford. 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 Dennis Burford.
Doey Ellison's blown it. He's hit the wind row, coming out of the hairpin. Unfortunately for Doey, he'll be uh, not completing this, this heat. Dennis Burford, our leader. Carl Enville second, and Jimmy Kalizos third. Carl Enville putting the pressure on Dennis now to take that lead off him. Part 99, Dennis Burford, Carl Enville, and Jimmy Kalizos. When Dennis comes round the pits this time, he'll see the white flag. One lap to go. Dennis Burford, Carl Enville, into the hairpin they come for the last time. The 200cc open class. Dennis Burford, Carl Enville, and Jimmy Kalizos around the hairpin corner. Jimmy looking for the inside line. He's caught on the wind row, but he's kept it going. Dennis Burford, Carl Enville, and Jimmy Kalizos. As they come around the back straight for the last time, Dennis will see the checkered. It's card 99. Dennis Burford, followed three by SA3, Carl Endul, and 26, Jimmy Kalizos in the 200cc open. In grid two is card 69, Mark Ashton. In grid three is Mark Sully. In four is Gail Lord. In Somebody slipped right across there as they uh, got a start. The leader is Darren Van der Waal, followed through next by Mark Ashton. Then we have uh, Dale Lord and Mark Solly as they go down the back straight for the first time in the Outlaw 250 class. Part 54, Darren Van der Waal is our leader, followed through by Mark Ashton. Next then we have Dale Lord and Mark They go. Darren Van der Ward followed through by Mark Ashton. Next then we have Dale Lord and Mark Solly. Down the back straight come our Outlaw 250s. Darren Van der Ward, our leader. Fifties, Darren Van der Waals, our leader. Mark Ashton is next, and then we have Dan Ford, followed through by Mark Solly. He's lost it on the last lap. 
His motor's obviously stopped there. He wasn't quick enough with the clutch to keep it mobile. And very bad luck for Darren. He had the lead all the way through till the uh, last court, last lap. Mark Ashton is our new leader. He's been giving it to him on a plate this heat. Mark Ashton is our leader, followed through by Mark Solly and Dale Lord. For the checkered, card 69. Mark Ashton takes his heat, followed through by Mark Solly and Dale Lord. Very bad luck there for Darren Vanderwood. Michael Barbato bringing them in with Gary Carter off on two. So Gary Carlia, Paul Wilkie, then it's Owen Pitt. Regan Ferguson is next with uh, Matthew Gericke. Dennis Burford followed through then. We had um, Wayne Riley, I think it was, as they come down to the uh, pit corner. Michael Barbato, Gary Carlia followed through then. Oh, we've lost somebody. Matthew Gericke. Oh, Matthew Gericke did a full 360 and kept going. Brenton Ferguson managed to keep his cart on the track as well, trying to avoid Matthew, but Matthew spun it at the next corner. Bad luck for Matthew, he did well to keep it going, but unfortunately he spun the next corner. Michael Barbato's our leader with Gary Carlier in second and Paul Wilkie up the third. Behind them it's Owen Pitt. As they come around the pit corner, it's uh, Michael Barbato, Gary Carlier and Paul Wilkie, Owen Pitt. Followed through by Cart 13, next Wayne Riley and Brenton Ferguson. It's Michael Barbato, our leader, Gary Carlier and uh, Paul Wilkie. Owen Pitt is next, followed through by Brooke Alexander and Dennis Burford. And then we have Wayne Riley and Brenton Ferguson. Back to the pit corner they come. It's Michael Barbato, Gary Carlier and uh, Wayne, Paul Wilkie, sorry. Owen Pitt is next, Brooke Alexander and Dennis Burford. Oh, Brenton Ferguson's done another 360 on the pit corner. Wayne Riley and Brenton Ferguson keeps it going. My oh my, what power these motors have. It's Michael Barbato, our leader, Gary Carlier and uh, Paul Wilkie. Next then we have Owen Pitt, followed through by Dennis Burford, uh, Brooke Alexander, then we have uh, Brenton Ferguson and Paul Riley. Michael Barbato showing the way from Gary Carlier. Owen Pitt is next, followed through by Dennis Burford. comes our leader, it's SA3, Michael Barbato. SA1 is Gary Carter in the second, Australia one third, Paul Wilkie. Owen Pitt is next with Dennis Burford, Brooke Alexander, Brenton Ferguson and Wayne Riley. Back to the main straight, Michael Barbato, Gary Carter and Paul Wilkie. Owen Pitt is next, followed through by Dennis Burford, Brooke Alexander, Brenton Ferguson and Wayne Riley. straight once more. SA3, Michael Barbato, Gary Carlier and Paul Wilkie. Bit of a gap then to Owen Pitt and Dennis Ferber. Then we have Brooke Alexander, Brenton Ferguson and Wayne Riley. It's Michael Barbato, Gary Carlier and Paul Wilkie. Owen Pitt is next one or two by Dennis Ferber. Then it's Brooke Alexander, Brenton Ferguson and Wayne Riley. That first three cars are nose to tail. There's nothing between Michael and Gary As they go down the back to the pit corner. Michael sees the white flag this time as it comes out. Michael Barbato, got it through by Gary Carlier Next then we've got Owen Pitt with Dennis Burford and then it's Brooke Alexander and Brenton Ferguson with Wayne Riley. Through the hairpin for the last time to the It's Michael Barbato, Gary Carlier and Paul Wilkie. Down the back straight they go. Gary Carlier SA3, Michael Barbato will take the checkered flag. Michael Barbato, Gary Carlier and Paul Wilkie, followed through by Owen Pitt, Nick Sanders, Dennis Burford, Brooke Alexander, Brenton Ferguson and Wayne Riley. Way. 
sportsmen. You'll find sometimes they're at racing speed when they come through the corner. Racing lies on pole. pole. Alexander Schultz is out around the outside. Alexander Schultz in the lead, Tracy Wise second. Leaf Bilney is in third position, I think. Shane Wright on the outside there. As they come into the hairpin for the first time, it's Alexander Schultz, followed through by Tracy Wise. And then we have Leaf Bilney and Shane Wright. Oh, it's very tight at the back there. Damien Hutchins coming through, being in front of Michael Wise. Next then we have Stephen Caruso and Brett Billing. Alexander Schultz, Leaf Bilney on the inside line, Tracy Wise. Shane Wright next, Damien Hutchins with uh, Michael Wise, then we have Stephen Caruso and Brett Billing. Down the back straight for the hairpin once more they come. It's Alexander Schultz in the lead, followed through by Leith Bilney. Shane Wright is next, and then we have uh, Tracy Wise, followed through by Michael Wise. Next then it's uh, Stephen Caruso with Brett Billing and Damien Hutchins. Out of this uh, bottom corner they come, Alexander Schultz our leader. Right. Tracy Wise is next with Michael Wise, Stephen Caruso, then we have um, Damien Hutchins and Brett Billing. <coughs> Through the hairpin they come, Alexander Schultz with Leif Bilney, Shane Wright is next, followed through by Tracy Wise, Michael Wise, Stephen Caruso, Brett Billing and Damien Uh, Alexander Schultz showing the way. Luke Bilney in second, followed through by uh, Shane Wright. Behind them we have uh, Tracy Wise with Michael Wise, Stephen Caruso, Brett Billing and Damien Hutchins. Past the lap scoring box they come. It's uh, Alexander Schultz, Luke Bilney and Shane Wright. Followed through by Tracy Wise with Michael Wise, Stephen Caruso, Brett Billing and Damien Hutchins. In the centre of the track, it's Alexander Schultz, followed through by Luke Bilney and Shane Wright. Next then we have uh, Tracy Wise, Stephen Caruso through on Michael Wise, followed through by Brett Billing and unfortunately for little Damien Hutchins, he's got tied up on the wind row in the centre of the track. Down the back straight they go. It's uh, Alexander Schultz showing the way. Leif Bilney in second spot with Shane Wright next. Stephen Caruso's moved up to fourth in front of Tracy Wise, Michael Wise and Brett Billing. Bottom corner they come. It's Alexander Schultz, Leif Bilney looking for the inside line as they come up here to the pit corner. Alexander's got the lead. Alexander Schultz, Leif Bilney, Shane Wright. Stephen Caruso is next with Tracy Wise, Michael Wise and Brett Billing. Alexander Schultz showing the way. As he comes out of the bottom corner this time, you'll see the white flag. Half nine, Alexander Schultz followed through by Leith Bilding. Shane Wright is next. Leith around the outside on the pit corner trying to take over the lead. Shane Wright looking for the inside line. And Alexander manages to hold on to it, but Shane Wright's up on the inside of Leith Bilney into the corner, into the hairpin. It's Alexander Schultz and Shane Wright up into second spot. Leith Bilney relegated to third now. Followed through by Stephen Caruso, Tracy Wise, and we've got Michael Wise and uh, little Brett Billing. Around for the check, and it will be Alexander Schultz, followed through by Shane Wright. Next in it's Leith Bilney. Stephen Caruso is next, followed through by Michael Wise, Tracy Wise, and Brett Billing. Jay Juniors coming in now. Mark Caruso, Scott Gaskell on one two. Luke Elliott in three. And we have a start in the pit corner for the first time. It's uh, Mark Caruso in the lead, Scott Gaskell through into second spot as they come into the hairpin corner for the uh, first uh, hairpin straight for the first time. It's Mark Caruso into the hairpin first. He'll be followed through by Scott Gaskell in second. Aaron Grieger in third, followed through by Luke Elliott. Next then we have uh, Dylan Jenkins. Behind him is Ryan Banks. Then behind Ryan is Scott Rosser. Down the back straight they come. It's Mark Caruso. 
Caruso with uh, Scott Gaskell. Harry Grieger in uh, third spot as they come into the uh, hairpin straight. Mark Caruso, our leader, Scott Gaskell, followed through next by Aaron Grieger. We have behind them part uh, 46, Luke Elliott with Dylan Jenkins. Ryan Bates is next, and then it's Matthew Riley and Scott Gosser. Ryan Banks with Matthew Riley and Scott Grosso. Through the hairpin corner come the Jay Juniors. Mark Caruso, our leader. Scott Gaskell, followed through by Aaron Grieger. Next then we have uh, Luke Elliott with Aaron Grigger, followed through by Luke Elliott. Next in it's Dylan Jenkins, Ryan Banks, Matthew Riley, and Scott Crosser. Second, then we have Aaron Grieger, followed through by Luke Elliott. Dylan Jenkins is next with uh, Ryan Banks, Matthew Riley, and Scott once more our leader, part 54, Mark Caruso. He'll be followed through by Scott Gaskell, next there, and it's Aaron Grieger. We have Luke Elliott next with Dylan Jenkins. Right flag up, the Jay Jews are into their last lap. Mark Caruso, our leader. Juniors will come into the uh, hairpin, the leader, car 54, Mark Caruso. Through the hairpin corner he comes, taking it relatively easily. Car 54, Mark Caruso, Scott Gaskell, Aaron Grieger, Luke Elliott and uh, the others following through. But the checkered flag out, car 54, Mark Caruso, Scott Gaskell, second, Aaron Grieger, Luke Elliott, Dylan Jenkins, and we have Scott Grosser, Ryan Banks and Matthew Riley. And that's a pretty hairy one at that. Away they go, it's Craig Kennewill in the lead. I think it's Fern Anderson in second or Derek Possingham. I can't, sorry, I can't quite pick it up. We've got somebody over in the dirt on the other side. Got no idea who that is. We have our leader coming through, it's Craig Kennewill. Tell by the way, he sits in the car. Derek Possingham in second, Tom Borden third, Mark McCarthy fourth, Peter Round is next hand Craig. into the main straight. It's Craig Kennewell, our leader. Tom Borden is second. Next then we have uh, Mark McCarthy followed through by Peter Round. Next after that, I've got no idea from here, I'm sorry. Craig Kennewell comes through the hairpin for the, is showing the way from Tom Borden, Mark McCarthy, Peter Round. It's uh, Paul Wilkie next. Vern Anderson and then it's um, Scott Stevens followed through by Charmaine Stevens. Craig Kennewell's our leader. No, just, it was going. Craig Kennewell's our leader. Next then we've got Tom Borden into second with Mark McCarthy third. Peter Round is next, followed through then by Paul Wilkie. Next then we have uh, Vern Anderson with Charmaine Spackman and Scott Stevens. 
Down the straight they go. Look at these boys fly. 100cc open. Craig Kennewell in Australia too, showing the way. Oh, Peter Round blown something. It's uh, Craig Kennewell, Tom Borden, followed through by Mark McCarthy, Paul Wilkie, Vern Anderson. And then we have Scott Stephen. We've also lost Charmaine Speckman somewhere on that last lap. It's Craig Kennewell, Peter, Tom Borden, Mark McCarthy, Paul Wilkie, and Vern Anderson, and Scott Stephen. There's little Charmaine in the centre. Uh, this pace is blistering in the 100cc opens this weekend. Australia 2, Craig Kennewell. He's showing the way at the moment. Followed through by Australia 3, Tom Borden. We've got SA3 next, Mark McCarthy with Paul Wilkie in part 4. Vern Anderson in part 12 and Scott Stephen. Craig Kennewell, past the pits he goes. Tom Borden, Mark McCarthy, Paul Wilkie, Vern Anderson and Scott Stephen. Down the back they come. They come around so fast to get a chance to take a darn breath. Into the hairpin they come once more. It's Craig Kennewell and Tom Borden. Mark McCarthy is next with Paul Wilkie, Vern Anderson and Scott Stephen. Up the main straight. Australia 2, Craig Kennewell, Australia 3, Tom Borden. Vern Anderson is in car 12 and Scott Stevens blown it on the hairpin in car 75. Back to the back straight, coming into the straight for the hairpin. It's Craig Kennewell, Tom Borden, Mark McCarthy, Paul Wilkie and Vern Anderson. Through the hairpin they come. Craig Kennewell, Tom Borden, Mark McCarthy, Paul Wilkie and Vern Anderson. Not much change in the order at this stage. Craig Kennewell, give it an order, he can't go through the corner. Tom Borden, Mark McCarthy, Paul Wilkie and Vern Anderson. Down the back they go. Australia 2, Craig Kennewell. Australia 3, Tom Borden. SA3, Mark McCarthy with part 4, Paul Wilkie right there. Vern Anderson in part 12. This time they're going to get the checkered. I haven't seen the white, but obviously that's not a problem. It's Australia 2, Craig Kennewell. Take the second flag. Australia 3, Tom Borden. SA3, Mark McCarthy with part four, Paul Wilkie and Will Vern Anderson. Great race here. Position five is 107, Andrew Wandenberg. Position six, part 49, Kenneth George. Position seven is the Noble Eight, Steve Davies. That's what I like to see, straight out the grid and one roll around and we're off and racing. Alan Miller's our leader, followed through in uh, second spot by Doug Eady, I think it is. Stephen Shearer is next, as they come through the straight for the hairpin corner for the first time. Alan Miller's our leader, Doug Eady in second spot, followed through by Stephen Shearer. Next then we have uh, Phil Hall with Andrew Wonderful. Kenneth George is next, Ian Ogilvy and Dean Davies. Down the main straight they come for the first time. Alan Miller is Doug Eady. Dean Davis through on the inside of Ian Ogilvy into the uh, back straight. SA1 currently showing the way, Alan Miller followed by SA2, Doug Eden. Next in we have Stephen Shearer with Phil Hall. Andrew Wundenberg is next, followed through by Kenneth George. Then we have Dean Davis and Ian Ogilvy. from Dougie. Stephen Shearer is next, followed through by Phil Hall. Andrew Wundenberg, then we have Dean Davies making his way through the field in front of Ken George now, and also Ian Ogilvy. <coughs> SA1 and SA2, they've opened up a bit of a gap now. Alan Miller and Doug Eady, followed through by Stephen Shearer with Phil Hall. Australia 1's moved up the fifth, Dean Davies, followed through by Andrew Wonderford. Kenneth George is next and Ian Ogilvy.
Into the hairpin they come. Alan Miller, our leader, followed through by Doug Eden. They've got a good break to uh, Stephen Shearer, then it's Phil Hall. Dean Davies is next with Andrew Wundenberg, Kenneth George and Ian Ogilvy. Stephen Shearer, Dean Davies picked up another one that lap. He's up in the fourth position. Phil Hall is next with Andrew Munchenberg, Kevin George, and Ian Ogilvy. to the main straight this time, they'll receive the white flag, they'll be into their last lap. It's SA1, Alan Miller from SA2, Doug Eady, followed through by uh, Next set we have uh, Dean Davies. Will Hall is next with Andrew Wattenberg, Kenneth George. Oh, look at little Dean Davies. He's set through on the inside of Stephen Shearer, up in the third spot. But the leaders are back in the hairpin for the last time. Alan Miller ahead of Doug Eby as they come out around the uh, straight corner for the last lap of this race. SA1, Alan Miller will take the chicken flag first. Followed through by SA2, Doug Eby. In third position we have Australia 1, Dean Davies, and they will be followed through by Stephen Shearer, Bill Hall, Andrew Wunderburn, Kevin and Ian Ogilvy. Carly Toza and Grid 8 will be Lindsay Bond looking for a start and we have one. Dean O'Connor quick from her Grid 2 to take the lead as they come down the pit straight. It's the Dean O'Connor showing the way from Debbie Williams. Debbie uh, Wilkie is next followed through by Jamie Jenkin. Then we have uh, Charmaine Spackman into the hairpin for the first time it'll be the Dean O'Connor. Debbie Williams followed through by Debbie Wilkie. Next then we have Jamie Jenkins with Charmaine Spackman, Carly Toza, Lindy Bond and Brigitte Palmer. No comment. And Debbie Williams and Debbie Wilkie. For up next is Jamie Jenkins, Charmaine Spackman, Carly Toza with Lindy Bond and Brigitte Palmer. Out of the hairpin they come, the Dean O'Connor. Debbie Williams, followed through by Debbie Wilkie. We have Jamie Jenkins next. Charmaine Spackman, Charlie Tosa, Lindsay Bond, and Lindsay Palmer. Nadine O'Connor has opened up a great lead now. She's into the hairpin corner. Followed through by Debbie Williams. Next then we have Debbie Wilkie with... Um, Jamie Jenkins, followed through by Charmaine Spackman, Kylie Tosa, Bond and Brigitte Palmer. Dean O'Connor leading this KT race, KT ladies race, followed through by Debbie Williams. Debbie Wilkie is next, and then we have uh, Jamie Jenkins. Nadine's opening up further, a lead as we uh, progress. We have Nadine O'Connor. Oh, a good pass by Jamie Jenkins coming into the hairpin. Debbie Williams in second. Debbie Wilkie's next, followed through by Charmaine Spackman, Carly Tosa. Then we have Lindsay Bond and Regina Palmer. The Dean's open up her lead to almost a uh, quarter of a lap or 
also Jamie Jenkins looking for that inside line for the second position. Debbie Williams is second, followed through by Jamie Jenkins. Next then we have Debbie Wilkie with uh, Charmaine Spackman, Carly Tozer, Lindsay Bond and Regita Palmer. She's right into the hairpin corner, so far ahead. We have the white flag out for Nadine. She's only got one lap to do after she passes the uh, starter here this time. She'll be followed through for the white flag to by Jamie Jenkins. Next then we'll have Debbie Williams with Debbie Wilkie next. Charmaine Spencer, Carly Post, Bond and Palmer. Oh, Debbie, unfortunately, Debbie Williams has gone right out on the wind row, out of that pit corner and she's out of the race. Unfortunate for her, but Nadine O'Connor, car 27, will come around. She'll take the checkered flag. Nadine O'Connor takes the flag, followed through in second spot by Jamie Jenkins. Next then we will have Debbie Wilkie, followed through by Charmaine Charlie Charmaine Lindsay Bond and Regina Palmer. are almost coming in at racing speed from where I'm sitting. And we have a start through, oh lordy, through the pit corner, everybody's still mobile. Our leader is Jamie Crouch, followed through by Jared Moore, Ricky Miolo is quickly around the outside, got it crossed up, Jamie Crouch put him back on the track as they come into the hairpin corner. It's Jamie Crouch, our leader, followed through by Ricky Mayolo. Then it's Jared Moore with Lee Healy. Timothy Crouch is next. Followed through then we have uh, Ben McNamara and Bradley Pink. As they go down the uh, pit straight, it's Jamie Crouch showing the way. Ricky Mayolo looking for that outside line again. And he's around the outside of Jamie Crouch this time into the straight for the hairpin corner. It's Ricky Mayolo, Jamie Crouch, followed through by Jared Moore. Lee Healy is right there as well. Timothy Crouch is next, followed through by Ben McNamara and Bradley T. Down the main straight they come. Ricky Mayolo, followed through by Jamie Crouch, Jared Moore, Lee Healy. Then we have Timothy Crouch, followed through by Ben McNamara and Bradley T. Very competitive in the J Open this weekend. We have Ricky Mayolo showing the way. Jamie Crouch second. Next then we have Jared Moore with Lee Healy, followed through by Timothy Crouch. Then McNamara and Bradley Ting. Ricky Mayolo is opening up his lead. Jared Moore's out in the dust out by the um, shed. We have Ricky Mayolo followed through by Jamie Crouch. Next then we have Lee Healy. Timothy Crouch is next with Ben McNamara and Bradley T. I think young Jared's okay. Just uh, fairly soft sand out there. Ricky Mayolo's our leader. Jamie Crouch is next with Lee Healy. Timothy Crouch, followed through by Ben McNamara and Bradley Tink. <laughs> through the hairpin comes our leader, Ricky Mayolo. Jamie Crouch defending that second position spot from Lee Healy. Timothy Crouch is next, followed through by Ben McNamara and Bradley Tink. Down the main straight they come. Lee Healy's got the inside line now into the pit corner. Lee Healy through into second on Jamie Crouch. Timothy Crouch in fourth, followed through by Ben McNamara and Bradley Tink. Ricky Mayolo is back into the hairpin for our leader. In the second position now we have Lee Healy, followed through by Jamie Crouch. Tim Crouch is next with uh, Ben McNamara and Bradley Tink. Ricky Mayola, he's our leader, followed through by Lee Healy. Next then we have uh, Jamie Crouch and Timothy Crouch. Round he comes this time, Ricky will take the uh, white flag, one lap to go for the J Open. 
Ricky Mayolo, followed through by Lee Healy. Next in we have Jamie Crouch, Timothy Crouch, followed through by Ben McNamara and Bradley T. Our leaders coming through to the centre of the track now. Crouch, 112, Ricky Mayolo. He's really uh, left them for dead once he got through the field and took the lead. Crouch, 112, Ricky Mayolo takes this heat for the J Open. Follow through in second spot, a good drive by Lee Healy. Next in we have Jamie Clouch with uh, brother Timothy behind him. We have Ben McNamara and Bradley T for the J Open. On pole we have card 86, Trevor Toes. Uh, Australia 1 is on grid 2, Harold Bill. Rolling. Harold Beale is our leader, followed through by Trevor Tozer. Next in we've got Lynn Grosser with Gavin Hennig. Oh, a good move there through on the inside by Rocky Wright in the lead of uh, Len Pomeroy. Followed through next in we have uh, John Heitrich and uh, Dean So Gavin Hennig, Rocky Wright is next, Len Pomeroy. Next then we have um, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. That's him with his hands on his hips. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Harold Bill's our leader. Trevor Toes are next. Grosser, pretty well knows to tail as they come through. Gavin Hennig is next, followed through by um, Rocky Wright. Then we have Len Pomeroy and John Hyde. Tozer is second, followed through then we've got uh, Lynn Grosser. Next then we have Gavin Hennig with Rocky Wright, followed through by Lynn Pomeroy and John Hyman. Harold Beale, our leader, followed through by Trevor Tozer and Lee Grosser. Next then we have uh, Gavin Hennig. Through into the uh, hairpin they come once more. The Statesman race 37. It's uh, Harold Beale, our leader. Trevor Toes is second with Lee Grosser, followed through by Gavin Hennig, Rocky Wright, Len Pomeroy. Through the hairpin for the last time for this day's race, it's Farrell Bill showing the way from Trevor Tozer and Lee Grosser.
Grid six is the president, Nigel Fosdyke. Grid seven is Vern Anderson. Eight is Alan Simmons. Nine is Katie Earle. And ten is Dave Sutton. And they're through the pit corner for the first time and she's on for young and old. It's uh, Peter Gaskell in the lead, followed through by Jeff Billing. Peter Williams is down on the inside of Peter Hurrell. Down through the uh, straight for the hairpin they come for the first time. It's Peter Gaskell in the lead, followed through by Jeff Billing, Peter Hurrell, Peter Williams. Neville Clark is the next driver, followed through by Vern Anderson. Then we have Alan Simmons behind him. We Jeff Billing shows the way as they go down the back, followed through in second spot by Peter Gaskell. Next then we have Peter Hurrell and Peter Williams. That must have been a popular name around at this time of the 40-year-old Peter. We have uh, Neville Clark next, followed through by Boone Anderson and Alan Simmons. Justin Kane. 
Irving and Andrew Wundenberg. Scotty Dornan, he's through into the hairpin corner. Followed through by Darren Brook is next. We have Chad Moore being followed by uh, Craig Bannister. One, Scotty Dornan showing the way. Darren Brook in second spot. Next in we have Chad Wadmore, followed through by Craig Vanderstill. Behind Craig we have uh, Dave Cavanaugh. Then it's um, car 34, Justin Kane and Andrew Wonderful. Scotty Dornan. Second spot we have Darren Brook. Followed through next in. It's um, Gavin Earl. No, it's not. I'm sorry. It's Chad Wadmore. Then it's Craig Bannister, Gavin Earl. Next in we have Justin Payne and Andrew Wonderful. into the hairpin, the leader. In second position, we have Darren Brook doing, got a good lead in second as well. Then there's a gap to Chad Wadmore and Craig Bannister. Follow through behind Craig, we have uh, Gavin Earl. Then it's Justin and Andrew Wonderful. Darren Brook, followed through by Chad Wadmore. Next though, we have uh, Craig Bannister, lost a bit of ground on this lap. Followed through by Gavin Earl, and then we have Andrew Wonderful. We've lost uh, Justin Crane somewhere on that lap. The leader, Scotty Dornan, coming through the hairpin at the moment. He's being followed by... Um, 26, Darren Brook. The white flag is out. Scotty Dawson, one to go. Darren Brook in second position. Next then we have Craig Bannister into third. So we've also lost um, Chad Wadmore in that uh, corner as well. Craig Bannister through third. Gavin Earl and Andrew Wonderful. And here he comes the leader, SA1, Scotty Dornan, coming through the uh, last corner now to come onto the main straight to take the chicken flag. by Gavin Earl and Andrew Wondenberg. Robbie Heinrich and neither of them are going anywhere. 
and then that the last part seven, John Crabb to come on through. So we've got Tom Borden and Robert Hybrick out of the race here on the main straight. Into the hairpin they come once more. It's uh, Matthew Garrick here, leader. Roger Tremba followed through by Ivan Stanton. Graham Buchecker is next, and then we have part seven. Next we have uh, Roger Tremper for a good second from Ivan. 